Okay, it's been forever since I've recorded a system test on the 4007ES. It's been like two years. But today I decided to boot it up and make an interesting custom control equation and record a system test on it. Um, so you don't really see systems like this on Simplex, well for demo boards at least because custom control for this is kind of confusing. But anyways, let me show you what I have going on. So I know I'm not in Canada, but I have a two-stage system set up, well kinda. It's not really how Canada does it, it's more of how I do it. Um, so anyways, the way I have it set up is that both of these red horn strobes for fire, um, when a first stage alarm activates, which is any of these pool stations, um, yeah, any of these pool stations, ignore this right here. I'm using the pool station that's right here on the 4100 ES because, yeah. Um, but if any of these four pool stations go off, it activates first stage, which makes um, both horns go into march time, 20 beats per minute, and uh, the strobe does not flash. But if the key switch in here activates, or if any of these activate, it goes into second stage. And second stage makes the um, strobes flash and makes it do temporal three. And um, for this one, if this activates, it does temporal four on this. Um, the stroll flashes and it does a uh, uh, priority to alarm. So anyways, um, I'll, I guess I'll show you. Oh yeah, I also forgot to um, show you or tell you. Um, in first stage, if an alarm is not acknowledged within 30 seconds, it immediately goes into second stage. Um, I know for Canada, it's like a five minute delay. But once again, this is a demo system and I do not have the patience to wait five minutes. So I just have it for 30 seconds. If you don't acknowledge the panel in 30 seconds, it does second stage. Or if you don't silence in 30 seconds, second stage activates. So I'll show that off right now. Three, two, one. It should start beeping. There. I'm pretty sure these labels aren't right, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right. Oh yeah, I also have tape over them because they're super loud and I don't feel like dealing with that. So yeah, there's tape over the piezos. And this is second stage. So we can silence. So, I'm not sure if you can see, but we do have two wire, or we have audible silence. I know that's not up to code, but once again, this is a demo system. I could do whatever I want on it. So we'll reset this. And then we'll do a system reset. And you might be wondering, whoa, why did that reset so fast? Aren't Simplex panel notorious for resetting long? Well, if you go into here, search um, analog pseudo point number 19. If you change this value from value number 25 to the value number one, that gives you an immediate reset time. Um, you have to be logged into level four for this, but if you have the programmer, you could change, um, change this to do it for level three. So that's why I don't have a trouble for um, service mode. I change um, control um, to control functions from level four to level three. So yeah, that's a little tip if you want a faster reset time. Um, but whenever you do turn off the panel and boot it back up, it goes back into level, it goes back into the, like, like the slow reset time. But through custom control, you could uh, make it um, automatically go into one during boot up. Um, oh yeah, let's see what else. Let's um, do this one where I could show you how to go into first stage and it automatically, well not automatically, I can manually go into second stage with my key switch. So let's do that. Three, two, one. So we're in first stage. 20 beats per minute. And we'll do second stage. I'll acknowledge that.
I'm not sure if you can see the strobes flashing, but they are flashing. Now anyways, we'll grab our screwdriver and we'll reset this pull stage. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, I did it. And we can reset our enunciator. And once again, the system is back into normal. And um, before we're done testing the fire portion of it, I'm gonna do a smoke detector. So we have a magnet right here and this will immediately set it off into second stage. And yeah, that's second stage. So now we could reset. Oh, and that's my 4000, I mean my 4100 ES right now. Uh, it's because I unplugged the batteries from it. So give me a second to acknowledge that. Okay, and I'm back from acknowledging it. Um, yeah, so I don't know why it took so long for me to, um, um, for it to go into trouble after unplugging the battery. It would like, um, like five minutes, but oh well. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, alert. So let me show you. You pull this, and it'll go. Strobe starts flashing, and it should do temporal pour. Yep. We'll acknowledge this. And we'll silence it. And we do have two wire silence for this as well. Because once again, this is my demo system. I could do whatever I want. And I also programmed the LED to turn on for priority two. Uh, I mean, not for priority two, for alarm silence when I silence priority two. Um, that was done through custom control. Because um, usually if you silence a priority two alarm, the LED doesn't turn on, so yeah. So here's my FCI key. And we could do a priority two reset. and the strobe starts stops flashing and yeah so that was a test of the 4070s um, two-stage system it's not fully working I know there's some quirks I have to work out through my custom control um, it works but there's some glitches where sometimes it wouldn't go into alarm or sometimes it won't go out of alarm um, I know I have to figure out why it does that. I'm not sure if it's the 4070S or if it's my custom control. But if you do want my custom control, I'll link it in my comments or I'll send a screenshot of it. Um, so I'll pin it in the comments. But anyways, that was my um, Simplex 4070S demo board system test. I hope you liked it and bye.